to… Uh, just to tell you, there are any number of examples. One striking example is this. In the prairies of America, the grasslands, I'm talking about prairies because prairies is one of the biggest disasters on the planet. In 1930s, you heard of the dust bowls in America? Hello? Where millions and millions of tons of dust or powdery soil flew with the winds and came to the east coast. People experienced the dust bowl in a big way because New York City and Washington, mostly New York City, I think, New York City got inundated with sand and soil. The building stopped the soil and huge heaps, millions of tons of soil landed on New York City. To see where this is coming from, the President of United States at that time traveled all the way to the prairies to see what's happening and then he said, this is… we're losing America. Because once the soil is lost, America is lost. We are really losing America, we must do something. And they formed a new institution to control that, even today it's functioning to some extent, but only to some extent. So why this happened was, when the Western farmers went there, you guys, it's okay. <laughs> when the Western farmers or European farmers went there, they were in the straight line mindset, they thought this whole land is left wild, nothing is made use of, it is not in use. But they were… there were over twenty-five million Native American people living in that land and they were farming for many, many millennia. But their farming was such, they farmed in tune with the nature. And one important aspect is in the prairies, there is what is called as a prairie dog. A prairie dog is actually a rodent, a larger size. And these prairie dogs have dug tunnels like… Uh, like your lungs in the earth, in that sandy desert, semi… semi-desert kind of uh, grassland. They have dug tunnels, millions of miles of tunnels right across the prairie. So the Native American tribes at one time said, when the prairie da dogs are not there to cry for the ra rain, this will turn into a desert, something like this, I'm paraphrasing. Because the prairie dog was the indicator of whether the land thrives or not. So they grew their food, cultivated in such a way they don't disturb the prairie dog. What… what uh, natural vegetation was there? they just enhance those plants which are more useful to them that they can consume and reduce the other things a little bit and manage this and in a selective way they burn down a few things and manage this. When you go there, it didn't look like it was being farmed, but it was being farmed for thousands of years. But without destroying the soil, without destroying this, they gave tremendous significance to the prairie dogs because they had dug up millions of miles of tunnels inside the grasslands. Because of this, when the moon came up, let's say a full moon or a new moon, when that happened, when the tide rose in the oceans, here also a tide rose. From within, the water rose through these tunnels and came up and the surface got the moisture because of the prairie dog tunnels. This is why they said, if the prairie dogs are gone, then there will be no rain. Because the uh, moisture… I mean the moisture or the water levels came up and the moisture came up, what is called as transpiration happened and it rained. Every time the water came up like this in the prairie dog tunnels, it would rain. Now when the European farmers went there, they couldn't understand. They thought these rodents are a big problem and they tried to shoot them but they were in millions, then they poisoned them, then they did all kinds of things to eliminate those prairie dogs, just one species. Just because of elimination of one species, the prairies largely turned into dust. When the wind blew, it just picked up millions of tons of soil and it came and landed in New York City. No, it did not. 
just a little bit got stopped by the New York City buildings, the rest of it went into Atlantic of course. Everybody was talking about this, how New York City was piled up with soil and how it was a great disaster. I said, New York City stopped some soil, that is not the disaster, that is your fortune. The real disaster is the soil that you did not see and the soil that you cannot measure which went into the Atlantic. America went into Atlantic, that's what it means. Your topsoil went into Atlantic Ocean means your livelihood, your well-being flew into Atlantic. Only a little bit got stopped by the New York City buildings. So these kind of things are happening everywhere in the world. Some of them may be very dramatic, some of them may not be because in our minds we have this silly idea that if something has to work, it must be boop, 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 boop. All lines, factory lines.